Good morning. I'm Philip Martin, and I'm glad you're joining me for morning prayer this morning uh, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May 14th in the church calendar is a festival of St. Matthias, uh, and so we will open our hearts and voices and minds in praise of our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit uh, with uh, our hymn this week, or song this week, which is, uh, We Are One in the Spirit, We Are One in the Lord. Oops, there went my pick. Here we go. Are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. And we pray that all unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. side we will work with each other we will work side by side and we'll guard each one's dignity and save each one's pride and they'll know we are christians by our love by our love yes they'll know we are christians by our Doxology. All praise to the Father from whom all things come, and all praise to Christ Jesus, God's only Son, and all praise to the Spirit who makes us one. They'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love, yes, they'll know we are Christians. By our love. Let us pray. <clears throat> we give you thanks, O Lord, for calling your apostles into service to praise your name, to teach your words, and to live the reality of your Son's resurrection. We thank you today for Matthias, for his appointment. Uh, set us as examples, uh, let us follow in his footsteps that we may be apostles in our time now and live our lives in praise of you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I apologize yesterday for starting um, morning prayer a bit late. Uh, we had our Ascension Day beating of the bounds yesterday, and I was all um, mentally prepared to go live at nine o'clock while I was there, but I got involved in conversations and just completely forgot. It was really uh, good to see people yesterday out and about in Richmond. Um, and uh, we're thankful for those who participate in that event with us. Um, so today is May 14th, and in the Christian calendar, as I said, it is St. Matthias Day. Each of the uh, apostles um, uh, that uh, Jesus appointed um, and called the 12 disciples um, uh, have in, in Christian history have kind of been celebrated on specific days. Uh, in the Lutheran calendar, May 14th is St. Matthias. Um, a lot of us tend to forget Matthias uh, because Jesus himself did not appoint him or call him. Uh, Matthias was the one uh, who came after, right after, Jesus ascended into heaven. So it's a fitting that today, uh, right after Ascension Day, we would uh, uh, remember Matthias. But uh, 
reading from uh, the Acts of the Apostles, uh, first chapter. <clears throat> In those days, Peter stood up among the believers, together with the crowd, numbered about 120 persons, and said, Friends, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit, through David, foretold concerning Judas, who became a guide for those who arrested Jesus. For he was numbered among us and was allotted his share in ministry. Now this man acquired a field with the reward of his wickedness, and falling headlong, he burst open in the middle and all his bowels gushed out. This became known to all the residents of Jerusalem, so that the field was called in their language Hakeldama, that is, field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his homestead become desolate and let there be no one to live in it. And let another take his position of overseer. So one of the men who have accompanied us during all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day when he was taken up from us, one of these must become witness with us to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph called Barsabbas, who is also known as Justice, and Matthias. When they prayed and said, Lord, you know everyone's heart, show us which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in his ministry and apostleship from which Judas turned aside to go to his own place. And they cast lots for them, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was added to the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. So there you have the story of how Matthias uh, came to be one of the twelve. Judas, uh, I, you know... Uh, ended up, um, you know, committing suicide, killing himself, according to Acts, for the decision that he made um, to betray Jesus. And so the 11 apostles left behind uh, read scripture. They find scripture as their guide in this, this point in time. And they read in scripture that someone needs to take Judas's place. And so uh, they deliberate, and um, these two men are put forward. Um, a guy named Joseph, uh, who also goes by the name um, Justice and Matthias, they cast lots, and it ends up being Matthias. We don't know anything about Matthias. Um, there are traditions and legends about who he was and what he ended up doing, but really we know nothing. Uh, we never hear from him again. He's just one of the twelve. And of the 12, there's 120, uh, or there's, I should say, uh, altogether, there's 120 of these uh, believers. 12 of them are the main leaders. Uh, all we know about Matthias is that he was with Jesus from the baptism of Jesus until his ascension. Okay, so that's basically all of Jesus' public ministry. Well, that's pretty cool uh, to think about. Uh, Matthias was somehow there at Jesus's baptism way back. If you can cast your memory back uh, when we had that festival back in January, uh, Jesus, no one knew, really knew who he was, and then he just appears uh, before John the Baptist. Uh, but there is a crowd there. So apparently uh, Matthias was there in the crowd. And uh, Math Matthias... Um, was there what Jesus did everything, um, all the parables that he told and all the people he healed. And then, of course, uh, traveled with Jesus to Jerusalem and watched his crucifixion and uh, sadly was probably uh, deserted Jesus um, uh, and then was saw him after his resurrection and was with him um, as he went up into heaven. Um, what this says to us. First of all, it says that we, we need to be prepared to take somebody's slot sometimes, to step up and um, fill in the role that is made for us um, or that is left by someone else's departure for whatever reason. Um, we have people serving on council sometimes that uh, move away uh, and they can't f uh, complete their term. And so we have to go into the congregation and kind of find somebody who will be on council with us. Um, we don't even get to really elect them, we just appoint them. So um, be prepared to kind of step into a role of leadership. Um, uh, and that can come at any time. Um, and our baptism equips us. So uh, 
that's one thing it teaches us. It also teaches us that really the only thing that qualifies anybody to talk about, to, to be a leader, to, to be an apostle, just to be an apostle, is just to have an experience with Jesus. You don't have to have special credentials. You definitely don't have to go to seminary to do that. You don't have to have served on council. You don't have to have been completed a Sunday school class. Just having an experience with Jesus's grace and mercy, his forgiveness, uh, with Jesus's steadfast commitment to walk with us in our life, that promise, that assurance from God is all that is really needed uh, for us to be a representative of God's kingdom here. Um, and uh, I think it's, it's you, inquiring minds would love to know more about Matthias. What was he like? Did he have, was he a quiet guy? Was, did he have a temper? Um, was he really, really nerdy? Or was he really athletic? Or was, uh, did he have a, um, did he have a certain accent or all these different things that we can think of? Did he, did he take the gospel to the south, the north, the east, the west? None of these we know. All that scripture needs to tell us is that he had an experience with Jesus and he was chosen and he served. So <clears throat> as we prepare to bring these morning prayer times to an end next week, which is our last week, um, I think it's time for all of us to kind of sit back and think, how is God calling us now to move forward? How is God calling me? How is God calling you uh, in your experience of Jesus over throughout your life, but maybe specifically over this pandemic? How have you felt God uh, with you? Uh, how have you felt God and Jesus moving you? And how can you take that forward? Uh, because God does, just like Matthias, call us into the future. In Jesus' name, will be made known because Jesus has called you and Jesus has given you gifts and Jesus will promise to be there with you no matter what. Let us pray. Gracious God, help us remember today the gift of our baptisms the gift of being washed in your grace, in the blood of the Lamb that cleanses us and makes us clean, makes us pure, that we may proclaim you in your kingdom, uh, your kingdom of holiness and righteousness, that we may stand in this world confidently, knowing that you have spoken for us and you have spoken for the world, and uh, you are bringing everything into a holy and righteous and, and glorious uh, end in Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Help us take that baptismal charge, O Lord, today and proclaim our experience of your grace to those we meet, whether it is through our words or through our actions or both. Help us be signs of your kingdom of grace uh, that others may see us and hear us and be pointed to Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we give you thanks for this week, for the ascension of your son Jesus, who is now seated at your right hand, uh, for all of the people in our congregation spread far and wide, uh, for those uh, who were able to gather with us yesterday uh, at our Beating the Bounds locations, and for those who are still hunkering down at home. Uh, we thank you for these relationships, O oh Lord, help us nurture the, the relationships in our congregation uh, as we reach out uh, to reach more people in our community. We pray for those who will be gathering tomorrow for moments of hope and for the ministry of healing and service that they will do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray, O oh Lord, for all those that we name before you now, for Carol, Megan, Anne, and Jenica, for Betty, for all those names uh, in need of special healing and hope. Guide them, be with them, assure them of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Remember us in your kingdom, Lord, and teach us to pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.